The Farah Palmer Cup begins with newly promoted Hawke's Bay hosting last season's Premiership runners-up Auckland as the best of the best in domestic rugby begin the hunt for national provincial glory. Must keep their discipline as well after the warning and their arms gone out again from referee Anderson as Gemma Woods goes a couple of times. Pick and go once more, still just short Hawke's Bay. Taken away by Awa, must be some space on oh, through the hands, through the arms from C. I don't look C at, but it's going to be Christo Toffer called out in the end. Too many penalties against Auckland. Oh, she's managed to stay on the field, but I think that's second and final warning from Ref. Get a replacement. Tiana. Oh, I think she has gone to the bin. Because they'll need to bring on a front row replacement. Yes, yeah, so this is Nijiho Nagata, the Japanese international, who'll come on because it was Chris Veliko. Oh, sorry, excuse me, Crystal Tofa, the hooker. It's not what you want from your players as a coach. So it's very disappointing there for Auckland. Just even taking that half step step back. There's Christo Toffa making her way to the Sinbin chair. It also means, of course, Auckland will have to drop off a player. Oh, and now a free kick for Awa to be able to go. And there's no way they're going to stop her from there. Well. The dam finally broke, it's been coming and coming, and Kalia Awa, this impressive young halfback, strikes first. First points of the Farah Palmer Cup go to the Hawks Bay Tui. No way through there for Brown. And then straight up again, it's Awa once more. Kalia Awa looking for a second try. Caught just short, so they barrel forward. To the Hawks Bay Tui once more. Great defense on the line, Atunu. Still there for Hawks Bay. Pressure coming on as they spoon it wide. Ferguson chops back in field just short. She had numbers out wide. Finally, it gets out there to T. Oyalukotia. And the second try is scored for the Hawks Bay Tui. Tofa will go to Vaipulu. Quick ball off the top here for Puckett for Omu. Good hard carry from Moimoy. It's played well so far. There's exciting number eight, Elizabeth Moimoy. Just dragged down half a metre short of the line. Puckett goes herself, bangs the ball down, and Melanie Puckett replies for Auckland. Tofa with the throw. Again, they like that top ball in the middle for Vaipulu, and it's worked well for Auckland. Good tackle made, though. Wrapped up Bloomfield in midfield. Still able to crib a couple of extra meters and now Auckland through the hands and look at the space they've created for the speeds as Angelica Vai just hacks it ahead for Princess Elliot. How's the bounce? It's not too bad as Elliot's got all the base and what a breakout try for Auckland and Princess Elliot. Our for Cottrell. And the two players to dictate. Moore in front of it in the uprights. Cottrell again wide they go. And then knocked away and into the hands of Angelica Vahai. How's the pace? Cottrell's chasing. We've already seen it from Vahai. She created one. Adamson coming across. Just going to have enough room. And now she scores one as Sal. Angelica Miki Miki Vahai. What a try. Well, she's earlier in the game. She also had a potential intercept as well, which was called back. But man, this young talent, she's all over the show. She's kicking for tries. She's intercepting. And to be fair, with the cover defense of Adam Adamson, she never changed her line either. She kept on checking her out, but she just eyed those uprights. How's the chase from Adamson? She covered a lot of ground. Just ran out of territory in the end. And we will go to the half-time break here at Hastings Regional Sports Park. And it's Auckland leading Hawks Bay 17-15 in round one of the Farah Palmer Cup. Fresh <laughs> <laughs> Brown did really well just to scramble that away at all. And 
Cottrell coming in to help out. Here's Ferguson, skips out of one, spins out of another, and another one as well. Taylor Ferguson looking for the support runners, goes herself. Taylor Ferguson, solo effort, solo try. What a score for the Hawks Bay Tui. Well, where was the Auckland defence on that? Three players had the chance to bring her down, and she just kept on going. First one on Bloomfield, I think it was. Yeah, Curtis chasing, but just even wrong footing. Princess Elliot there. Open the scoring in the 20th minute. Kalia Awa again. That scrum comes under pressure, but they're just able to scramble away. And look at the footwork. Now the speed from Awa looks for the ball on the shoulder. Pops it up for Ailo Putia. Can't quite reach out. Auckland just stop her at the last moment. Another penalty for Kalia Awa, the number nine for Hawks Bay. She's going to tap and go again here, and why not? Away they come for Yosefo. Instructions being barked from the side as Auckland's defence has to regather and reorganise once more. Cottrell holes everywhere. Eventually it comes. It had to come. And it comes with a replacement. Leah Tuhi scores Hawks Bay second of the second half and they extend their advantage. Yes, unfortunately for Auckland there, they just didn't get enough players. Too many players on. The right-hand side of the field, and Hawks Bay have been playing wide all game when they get the opportunity, and Auckland just not enough numbers. Blackwell with that bright blue headgear. Berries and burrows low. Fisher this time. It goes again, tries to go over the top of the messy ruck. Play the ball. Use it. Use it. Pick and go again from Auckland, keeping it tight. But Hawks Bay again, able to just slow up this possession for Auckland. And eventually it's banged down on the line by Mizuho Katsuoka. The Japanese international gets one back for Auckland. Well, there was a Hawks Bay were set, all lovely uniform height. in the short replacement hooker. Oh, the open side, sorry. She managed to get through there. They'd been going right the whole time. Cottrell goes down to Fisher looking into the sun does well. You can see Fizio on the side just shading the eyes, so it's tricky looking that way for Auckland. Here's Veliko again and Nagata, two front rowers starting to combine nicely. An open play. Oh, it's stolen. Yeah, it was. Turnover was good. The referee called it. Cottrell with her all her experience opting to go for post. Backing herself. Kristen Cottrell. Very nicely done. Kicks an important penalty for Hawks Bay just to keep Auckland at arm's length. Bloomfield for Umu for Nankerville. Made a good fist of things since coming on midway through the first half. Bloomfield again, Fessolai, the 16-year-old, great offload, good hands from her. Once it, Makaya Kaipo, another of the debutantes. For Auckland, ball back in field for Fisher from Blackwell. Sophie Fisher roaming free and just onto the field. First touch of the ball goes forward. Cheyenne Tulefali, open territory. Not that one, it's this one here. So close yet so far. Time starting to tick against Auckland. You feel like they need to strike here and they get a good scrum for Bloomfield to clear. Fa'a Umu's got Nankerville. Chopped down around the ankles. Good tackle made on her by Michaela Baker. Out they go, spreading wide to the right with Princess Elliot. She's got Curtis with her. It was a lovely little flick ball. The hands were good for Sam Curtis. 
two metres short of the line. Blackwell now throws it. Ropey old ball, but they scoop it up. And this time, Cheyenne Tully Foley surely is going to get her try. She does. And Auckland have set us up for quite the finish here. Yeah, Tapler didn't release, and away they go. Tap and go quickly from Nankerville for Auckland. Another advantage being played Auckland's way. There's only a penalty score in it if they want it, but they'll carry through Fisher. Hawks Bay had a go at that one too. Skips out a one tackle, Kai Pork. Auckland looking to win this at the death, or can Hawks Bay hang on for what would be a famous win for the Tui? Vaipulu. Bloomfield asking for a run as Blackwell in his 75th match for the province. Through the hands they go this time. Moores is caught by Cottrell. And playing under advantage. It was a long one. Sophie Fisher could win the game with this kick. Fisher struck it really well. It sounded clean off the boot, but it's just come away. Hawks bait. There's still a few seconds to play here, and now they've hacked it back to Auckland. Auckland will have another chance. If they've got a cool, composed head, Bloomfield for Elliott. Moores. Natalia Moores goes herself, the two-test Blackfern. And can't release it, Hawks Bay steal it, and they might have held on here. There was a fingernail in the kick. Cup. Hawks Bay 32, Auckland 31.